Hello YouTube, it's Hyrofoam and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix multiplayer is disabled in Minecraft Java edition. So firstly all you have to do is open up your favorite web browser whatever it may be. And now once you open up your favorite web browser all you have to do is go ahead and head to microsoft.com all right head to microsoft.com and then on this side all you have to do is go ahead and sign in to the Microsoft account that you bought Minecraft Java edition with. Now this is really important so sign in to the same account that you bought Minecraft Java edition with otherwise this fix won't work whatsoever and after you sign in to that account all you have to do is go ahead and click on this little like profile icon right over here and then all you have to do oh, now is go ahead and click on my Microsoft account by the way you need to sign in using this itself so you can see this profile icon just sign in over here and then once you sign in just go ahead and click on my Microsoft account and now once you click on my Microsoft account basically it's going to open up a new web page and yeah so this is the new web page and over here all you have to do so nothing else you need to click on your info now before we do that make sure that you're not in a family group all right so if you're in a microsoft family group so let me just show you guys so this is the family section all right just go ahead and click on it and once you click on it it's going to open up this new tab and so it, if it says create a family group then it's all well and good you don't you're not in a family group but however if it says leave family group then you'll have to go and leave it because that means you're in a family group because if you're in a family group for whatever reason this won't work and so all right so once you have checked that go ahead and click on your info all right and now in your info also check your date of birth if your date of birth is set to under 18 or not if it's set to under 18 then you're gonna have to change it to 18 plus otherwise you won't be able to make the changes and all you have to do for that is go ahead and click on edit profile info so it's gonna edit profile info and boom as you can see so I can change my date of birth to whatever I want and now I'm just gonna head back by clicking on this icon over here as you know and all right so now I'm gonna head down so now what you're going to do after you edit your profile info, edit your date of birth, if you're set to under 18, if I mean, if you're over 18, then it's all well and good. All you have to do is scroll down till you see Xbox profile. All right, just go ahead and click on Xbox profile. Now, once you click on Xbox profile, so if it's your first time doing it, you're going to get a code on your phone and then you're going to have to like type in the code basically or on your email, whatever you choose. And then once you're over here, just go ahead and click on privacy settings. So as you can see, so there is customized and privacy settings in this new tab. Go ahead and click on privacy settings all right just go ahead and click on it and it's going to take a couple of seconds to load and basically once you're over here in the privacy tab click everything on allow so make everything to allow all right so you can read this if you want to but it's nothing too important i mean it is important in a sense like others can see your game history and all that see other people's xbox live profile and all of this stuff is important if you want to play in multiplayer as you can see so just make everything on allow and then go ahead and click on submit now once you click on submit as you can see so it kind of i can't click on it anymore and it's going to refresh the page as you can see so the page has just refreshed and now i can go ahead and click on it once again so after this all you have to do is go ahead and edit to xbox one slash windows 10 online safety all right and then make everything on allow as well so yeah just make everything on allow it's going to be on blocked a few couple of things are going to be on blocked and you're going to have to turn it to allowed just click on submit once you click on allowed and again it's going to turn like light green kind of thingy and it's going to refresh the page and boom that's done and now all you have to do is go ahead and open up minecraft java edition and now once you open up minecraft java edition so i know you guys may have already bought it and so it's not going to say play demo it's just going to say play full but for me i don't have a microsoft account i just have a mojang account but anyway so whatever it is all you have to do is go ahead and click on this icon over here and log out of your microsoft account all right just go ahead and log out of it and then once you log out of it you you need to go ahead and like assign into your uh, like account once again microsoft login as you can see just go ahead and sign into your microsoft account once again so i'm gonna quickly go ahead and do that all right guys so now i've gone ahead and done that and boom so as you can see so i've re-signed in and all you have to do now is just go ahead and play it and you'll see that multiplayer will be unlocked so remember you also have to sign out and sign into your account in the minecraft java edition launcher so sign out and sign into your microsoft account and then go ahead and play minecraft and you'll no longer get this error which says multiplayer is disabled and all of that and that's basically how you fix this guys so if you guys should find this video useful make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you aren't already and i'll catch you guys in the next video now goodbye